हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ शेक हैंड विद लाइफ यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम नरेंद्र शर्मा इन दिस वीडियो आई विल शो यू हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द सम ऑफ स्केयर फॉर टोटल वेरिएंस और एसएस टोटल फॉर वन वे अनोवा मींस व्हेन द डेटा इज क्लासिफाइड इन वन कैटेगरी और वन वे सो हेयर वी हैव थ्री सैंपल्स a b and c and we have four elements in a four elements in b four elements in c to so total elements equal to 12 now to calculate the sum of square for total variance or ss total we first in the first step we need to calculate x1 bar for sample a so x1 bar for sample a is equal to sum of all the elements 6 plus 7 plus 3 plus 8 equal to 24 divided by 4 and we get 6 here now x2 bar is 4 sample b and it is equal to 5 plus 5 plus 3 plus 7 equal to 20 20 divided by 4 and we get 5 here now for sample c it is x 3 bar x3 bar is equal to 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 4 equal to 16 16 divided by 4 and we get 4 here now in sample in step 2 in step 2 we'll calculate with the help of x1 bar x2 bar and x3 bar we calculate the mean of sample means or total mean value which is called x double bar so x double bar is the summation of x1 bar x2 bar and x3 bar which is 6 plus 5 plus 4 and divide by 3 we get 15 divide by 3 and we have 5 here now x double bar is 5 and here we have these 12 different elements in different samples now we calculate in step 3 in step 3 we calculate the sum of square for total variance so sum of square for total variance is the summation of squared deviation squared deviations of xij xij is is the element uh in sample a sample b and sample c so xij so for example the first element in a and second element in a third element in a fourth element in a and then first element in b second element in b and so on. and x double bar is equal to 5 so this is sum of square for total variance is the summation of a square deviation of each element in all three samples from x double bar so this is the difference of each element from total mean value summation of square division of each element from the total mean value now we calculate the sum of square for total variance for the first element the first element is 6 it is equal to square of 6 minus 5 and square of 6 minus 5 is one square one square is equal to 1 now the second element is 7 so 7 is here 7 minus 5 square we have 2 square 2 square is equal to 4 now the third element is 3 and 3 minus 5 square is equal to minus 2 square minus 2 square is equal to 4 okay now fourth element is 8 8 8 so 8 minus 5 square is equal to 3 square 3 square is equal to 9 now the first element first element of b is 5 so 5 minus 5 square is 0 okay now the second element in b is 5 again and it is 5 minus 5 square and we have 0 square equal to 0 again now the third element in b is 3 so 3 minus 5 square is minus 2 square minus 2 square is equal to 4 now the fourth element is 7 7 and it is 7 minus 5 square 7 minus 5 square is equal to 2 square 2 square equal to 4 now the first element in sample c we have 5 so 5 minus 5 square is equal to 0 so it is 
then the second element in sample c is 4 so 4 minus 5 square is minus 1 square minus 1 square is equal to 1 now the third element is 3 third element in c is 3 so 3 minus 5 square 3 minus 5 square is minus 2 square minus 2 square is equal to 4 now the fourth and last element of the of all three samples or in sample c it is 4 so 4 minus 5 square is minus 1 square minus 1 square is equal to 1 now we add all the values we calculated for sum of scale for total variance. These are 1 plus 4, 5 plus 4, 9, 9 plus 9, 18, 18 plus 0, 18, 18 plus 0, 18, 18 plus 4, 22, 22 plus 4, 26, 26 plus 1, 27, 27 plus 4, 31, 31 plus 1, 32. So we have 32 as sum of scale for total variance. So this way we can calculate the sum of scale, sum of scale for total variance or equal to SS total. So we take a recap, quick recap. So first, in the first step, we calculate X1 bar, X2 bar and X3 bar. And in second step, we calculate the mean of sample means or the total mean value which is equal to x double bar then we calculate the in, in third step in third step we calculate the sum of scale for total variance which is equal to summation of square division of each element from x double bar and we get the sum of scale for total variance so here 32 so i hope you have clearly understood how to calculate the sum of scale for total variance sum of scale for total variance when there are more than two samples are given in one way ANOVA and we have to calculate the sum of scale for total variance for these samples in these samples and these samples are uh, given in one way ANOVA or one category and that's it if you have any question or suggestions then please do write your feedback in the comment box below. Hit the like button and share this video with your friends and colleagues. Switch to Shake Hand with Life YouTube channel for more videos. Subscribe the channel and hit the bell to get the notifications of my latest video lectures. Visit on shakehandwithlife.in to download the course notes and ebooks in PDF. See you soon in my next video.